Hi, everyone. It's Don Cravens. I'm coming to you from the National Urban League's Washington Bureau with your weekly update. And here are the top five things that you need to know for this week. Well, as you know, Super Tuesday number three uh, has just ended. Here we are again talking about states and delegates and presidential primaries. Uh, and it looks like we still have a very tight race on both sides. What we've seen, at least on the Democratic side, is Senator Sanders was able last week uh, to pull off a very, very strong win in the state of Michigan, which a lot of folks did not see coming. Uh, but he was able to get that done. And he's still looking to be very, very competitive in a lot of those similar states, states like uh, Ohio and Missouri and Illinois. And so it'll be interesting to see um, how he does in those states and to see if he can continue to push Secretary Clinton uh, towards the convention. Um, so on the Democratic side, still have a tight race, still looking at a very tight race. On the Republican side, the big question is, will businessman Donald Trump uh, continue his momentum of winning these states uh, really all over the map, South, Northeast, Midwest, and as we move in the next round of elections uh, to the West? What we know is that in Florida, he's got a sizable lead over uh, Senator Rubio, his home state. And so it will be interesting as you, when you watch this, you will know the, the, the results already, what happened. But it looks like he may win Florida. Uh, a state that is a little bit uh, closer is Ohio. And where will Governor Kasich, his home state, will he be able to win that state? And if he does, he'll stay in. If he doesn't, well, we may see him drop out. If Senator Rubio wins Florida, he'll probably stay in. If he doesn't, he'll probably drop out. And that will mean on the Republican side, you may have a two-man race with Trump, and Cruz. And that may be where we go towards the convention. And so we will keep you posted on that. Uh, number two, want to congratulate the newly minted Secretary of Education, Dr. John King. Dr. King was appointed by President Obama to replace retiring or re re retiring Secretary Arne Duncan. Uh, Mr. King was nominated. Mr. King uh, will be a phenomenal Secretary of Education. And as we look at our public school education, you know, as you know, for the first time in the nation's history, the majority of children who attend our public schools are students of color. And so Mr. King has some big shoes to fill, but we are very confident the Urban League he'll get those shoes filled. And we're so glad the Senate did their job in confirming uh, Mr. King for the post of Secretary of Education. Um, we also have in our Washington update, our weekly update this week, a great piece by one of our dynamic CEOs uh, from the great state of Illinois, this, the, the CEO and president, uh, Sherry Runner from Chicago's Urban League. Uh, she's presenting a piece this week uh, uh, related to some of the campaign protests that took place in Chicago uh, just last week. And in her piece, she talks about the First Amendment, the rights of people to come together to protest um, when they have a cause and they, they believe that they, 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 they want to express their opinions. And so she really talks about the First Amendment and what it guarantees and really sheds a different light on some of the protests that you saw in Chicago, maybe different some, from what the, the things you saw on television. And so please take a look at that. Um, thank you, Sherry, for um, offering that to us this week. Also, number four, want to just send our prayers and thoughts to the people of, of the South. As you know, many of the southern states were flooded over the past week and are still dealing with just some torrential uh, rains and, and flooding. The rain is just starting to let up. As a result, President Obama wisely declared uh, some states to be disaster areas, meaning now those states can get some of the relief the federal government is able to provide so people can get back in their homes and rebuild their lives. And so our prayers and thoughts go out to the people um, in Texas and Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Tennessee, and Mississippi. I'm quite certain that those states where we have affiliates of the National Urban League, the men and women of those Urban League affiliates are doing everything they can to help folks get back into their homes, into their businesses, and rebuilding their lives. Then last but not least, you know, as we prepare for the new president and first lady, or new president and first man who will be taking the Oval Office uh, at the end of this year and early into next year, we do have to give a shout out to President Obama and our First Lady Michelle Obama, they, they've done a lot in the form of new digital media uh, stuff, right? I mean, a lot of this administration's in initiatives, they use new technology in order to get feedback and to issue them and to, and, and to put those out. And so they're gonna be leaving some big digital shoes to fill for the new president and the new First Lady or First Man if it's Secretary Clinton and, and, and former President Clinton. And so there's a nice piece in there in our Washington Weekly about that as well. Well, look, that's going to do it for our top five things that you need to know. I'm Don Cravens, Jr. Thanks for what you do in and for the movement. I'll see you next week.